All right, YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. I want to show you guys um, how to create a minimal style uh, code to UI. So we have Tixums here right now. Um, I'm going to improve it, but he sent me this and I just kind of got the idea for this video. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna guide you guys through the process. Um, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this video uh, simple step by step for beginners out there so anybody that has Photoshop hopefully you can follow along and make a nice UI for your game so alright so I went ahead I found two more references uh, I got this one inbox and I have this uh, message thingy so let's get right into our UI first things first I'm going to uh, make a new background um, I'm gonna try this color, so let's select the background of this one. Go to our background layer. We're gonna hit Alt and Backspace. And Backspace. This is gonna fill our canvas with the color. Alright, now let's go ahead and go to a rectangle, click and hold. Let's go to Rounded Rectangle Tool right here. Okay, now we have to decide uh, the radius we want for how round we want the corners so if we take a look at these references this one is completely flat which we're not going to do we're going to make it somewhat round this one seems all right it's pretty it's pretty uh, clean the more round you make it the more cartoon it becomes this seems uh, pretty nice this one is a bit more round so you can see it becomes a bit more i don't know uh cartoony it's more friendly, I guess. Um, the more sharp it is, the more sharp, the more serious it looks. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I think I'm gonna try 10. So let's make sure we have our fill on. So let's click on fill, click on this uh, black little rectangle. Right, and uh, stroke off. So hit the red slash right there. All right, let's uh, decide our background color. So he has a dark gray. Um, I like this color here. Uh, these are gradients. This one is pretty cool. If you guys want to try that, you can. <laughs> this one is a more colorful, blue, vibrant. Let's just try this one for now. We're gonna make our radius 10 and uh, now we have to we gotta decide our shape so I'm gonna drag something out like this I think it should be fine go back to the move tool we're gonna control a to make a selection around the canvas go to our move tool hit these two buttons to center our shape and we're just gonna hit control D to get rid of the selection all right now we gotta make a a title right so you see this title here has a color icon with some white text so right here we can do the same thing let's go ahead and go for some white text all right um, let's take the Twitter logo move the background and let's uh I'm gonna grab this color straight up take it <laughs> all right clear this uh, thing logo if you can tell, I'm kind of tired, so you have to excuse me. But, all right, so making UI, here's what we gotta focus on. You see, the icon is smaller, right? And there's a fair distance um, from the text. And these are also line, as you can see. So, and there's also a fair distance uh, between the edge of the shape as well so let's go ahead let's distance this off let's make the a little smaller make that small right, right here okay now we have to also make sure the text is not too big so scale it accordingly and instead of a P, 
pure white color. I'm gonna make it slightly gray. Or just very, very slightly. And this is going to be good for us. So let's move it here so I can actually see the edge of our codes we're off to a good start all right so I found a pretty good um, example right here all right so let's copy the text and place it right here I'm gonna make this smaller so from 17 let's go for 12 and uh, let's drag a ruler make sure it is so aligned right here to the left side okay now Twitter, your themes, but theme goes to be rewarded with special items in game. Or we can make this a bit thicker. Let's go for medium. Um, let me just mess with this a little bit. Give me a second. Okay, we can copy this again. Let's copy the text again. And let's put this real name. And this bold. And let's make it the same blue color we have here. If this will work. Thank you. It's kind of laggy. Place it right here. All right, now we gotta add the label in which the code will go on to. So if we do this, it's gonna look bad. So let's try to align it maybe to this text right here. This can work, hopefully. All right, so the radius is too high. Let's go for five. Just have it, just half it down. Let's go half. All right, so right here. And now let's select the color. Same color as the background. I guess you could try that. Double click, we're gonna go stroke, add a nice stroke, and we select this color of the divider right here. Okay. And now I'm gonna put some text, type group color. Regular, and we make this tiny just right here. All right, uh. Okay, we could center this thing. And now we just have to add a button. So for the button, let's, uh, I'm kind of tired. Kind of tired of talking, but let's just make a button uh, like this. I'm gonna use the same blue to uh, keep consistent. And now we're gonna figure out the distances for these. All right, so that right there is our completed UI. Um, this was, uh, this right here was Tixon's original concept. Obviously ours was a lot more, a lot less cartoony, but uh, nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.